and welcome. Bishop Finton here. One of the lovely things about our Catholic tradition is that we have various different devotions that are so dear and so important uh, to so many believers, to people that are uh, praying people. We might have a devotion to Mary, Mother of God, or perhaps our devotion is to a particular saint. One of the truly lovely devotions is a sense of devotion to Saint Joseph, whether that be for his feast day in March or whether it be on the first day of May or whenever. Pope Francis has a huge sense of devotion to Saint Joseph and he prays, we are told, to Saint Joseph very frequently, especially when he has particular troubles or problems that he uh, is worried about. And the lovely tradition that he has, chaired, uh, has shared with us so often is that when he's going to bed at night, he will write down what his trouble or care or worry is and that he will put it under a statue of the sleeping Saint Joseph. We know from scripture that Saint Joseph was a very silent man, but he was a very caring man. He looked after the Holy Family in bringing them uh, out of the dangers uh, in the Holy Land, right into uh, the freedom of uh, Egypt and back again into the safety of his home uh, with the Holy Family. One of the lovely things uh, that we can do is that we can entrust our cares and our anxieties and our worries uh, to the Lord and we can go to bed at night knowing that we have uh, shared our problems with the Lord who is very much there with us. I came across a lovely idea in our diocese recently in the eastern part of the diocese in a place called Ross Cray, a tradition of what's called a worry box which similar to the tradition of Pope Francis you would write your care or your worry uh, on your piece of paper you would put it into your worry box and you would place it under the statue of Saint Joseph when you're going to bed at night, therefore uh, lessening your burdens, your cares, your worries. At this uh, difficult and challenging time that we're in, so many people have so many serious wor worries, whether that be financial, whether it be uh, health care, whether it be fear of getting sick, whether it be uh, a time of bereavement or whatever it is. To know that the Lord is there with you, that St. Joseph is there caring for you, is indeed something very special and is at the heart of this lovely devotion to St. Joseph. If I could finish this reflection with a lovely prayer from a little special book called Priestly Prayers and it's the end of a litany to St. Joseph and it runs as follows. O oh God, who in your wonderful providence chose the blessed Joseph to be the spouse of the most holy mother, grant we beseech you that we who have for our advocate in heaven, he whom we venerate as our protector on earth, who lives and reigns world without end. Amen.